Hello everyone. It's James again. And today I want to talk about an important topic. And I was going to talk about it sooner. As some news. Not sure how true it is yet. But some news came out. That is going to add to this topic. You see. Narcissistic abuse is very hard for those that don't know it to detect or see. Now if it's overt. It can throw people off. But as we've talked about before. The main goal for the narcissist parent is to destroy their children's lives by any means in which they can do so. Well. As many of you may know. That I grew a very strong inspiration from the Rocky character growing up. Not Stallone himself. But the character he played. And I now know why those movies. Especially the first couple. The situations and scenarios largely in these movies were out of the pain he went through as a child. Being narcissistically abused by his family. Namely his father and his mother. His father was very verbally abusive. Extremely physically abusive too. His mother seemed to be the master. At putting people down. And calling people nobodies and every other name she could think about. Well. A while back when Sylvester Stallone was interviewed by his daughters. He talked about how he was able to force himself to sit down and complete projects. He would yell at himself. And call himself lazy and a dummy and stupid and a nobody. And every vile name he could call himself. He would get really angry and aggressive with himself. By threatening to beat himself up if he wouldn't sit down and just work on his projects. Then his daughters asked. Was that really the voice of his father? And Sylvester Stallone answered that yes it was. Because you see the abuse never leaves you. You can do the best you can. And work on your life. But it leaves its mark on its victims. Especially if the ones that are mistreating you in this way is your parents. Well years ago. I came across interviews where his old co-star in Rocky IV Dolph Lundgren. A.K.A. Ivan Drago. He talked very seriously about the narcissistic abuse he suffered at the hands of his family. I believe it was his parents that mistreated him. And he had to go and live with his grandparents as a result if I'm not mistaken. Well a few months ago. When Dolph was doing an interview about his life. When he was asked questions about Stallone. He said they were good now. But they had a rough patch. And it was because on the set of one of the Expendables movies. Dolph had been dealing with serious health problems. And Sylvester was extremely extremely verbally abusive to Dolph. So much so he walked off and then called his at that time girlfriend or wife. And said if he says another word to me. That he was going to pop him in the mouth. Now thankfully that didn't happen. But when I heard Dolph saying how verbally abusive towards him in order to try to get him to perform Stallone was. Then I heard Stallone talking about how he was extremely verbally abusive towards himself. And if you watch interviews with his mother Jackie Stallone. Or when she was on some reality show in England I believe. It seemed she had an insult for someone almost every time she opened her mouth to speak. And one can say. Maybe that was her character. But I don't think so. It matched too well to the stories that Stallone has told of his mother. And just this bit of information I was going to talk about and use it as a lesson regarding the topic we are going to discuss tonight. But over the last couple of days. It came out that Sylvester was extremely verbally abusive and rude to the extras on the set of the show he has Tulsa King. Now. I don't know how true it is. But what it is reported to have happened is. He went to another area of the set to talk to one of the people in charge. Where the extras were still in earshot of him and could hear him call them names. He called them fat tubs of lard and ugly. Now. Here's the thing. Though Stallone knows what will work on camera and what won't. And he's a master at that. That's his wheelhouse. He didn't have to do what he did allegedly. Meaning. He didn't have to talk like his mother would talk. And not care who can hear him. Because that seemed to be the way Jackie would act. She would walk around talking about people and not care if you could hear her or not. 
but instead Stallone could have easily went to the person in charge and said to them. We need to have a private conversation. And then could have told them that the people that they hired have a terrible look for what he needs to do. To politely pay them and let them go. And hire the people that he thinks would be a good fit. Is it possible the people were out of shape? Yes. Is it possible that the people weren't the most attractive? Quite possibly yes. And trust me. I'm not a fan of the body positivity movement. I think it does a lot of harm to people. And we've seen it as a great many that have bought into this lie have gotten seriously sick. And some even lost their lives. But Stallone is supposed to be a professional. If he wants to yell at anyone. Yell at the person that hired them and wasted his time. But the truth is. Yelling at anyone does no good. He could have easily. Easily pulled the person in charge into a private room. And within three minutes could have seriously and professionally got his point across. Now though we don't know how true this story is. And the context. Because there could be way more to what happened that we don't know. But for learning sake. Let's say this story is real. It sounds just like what was said to Dolph and how Stallone treats himself as a way to get things done in his life. But who did he learn it from? Or where did he learn it from? He likely learned it from his narcissistic abuse. Now there might be some that will say. James James. I told you he's a narcissist. Hey you might be right. And I've never shied away from the fact. That I don't know what kind of man he is. And I know the difference between the character Rocky and the man that plays him. You see. When my father died. I didn't have much of a role model. Actually I had none. And all I had was my mother. She was a narcissist and I hated my home life. Kind of like Stallone hating his home life. But at that time. I knew nothing about narcissism and nothing about Stallone's upbringing. But what I did know was I felt a connection to Rocky. Because though he was rough around the edges, he cared about people. And he seemed to always get the short end of the stick. That was until his life became blessed and he got the chance of a lifetime. But every put down he was given in those movies, I felt in my little cartoon heart. Him just wanting to go the distance. I felt in my little cartoon heart. It meant a lot to me. But with all that being said, when I heard Dolph talk about how he was treated by Sylvester and how he treats himself, and I've heard Jackie walk around being a walking put-down machine to others, I somehow believed what Dolph was saying was and is true most likely. And if it comes out what was said in front of the extras is true, I wouldn't be shocked. But what does all of this mean? What's the learning? So though he could easily be a narcissist, he could just as easily not be a narcissist. And I don't say that in his defense at all. I say that for us in our own self-reflection. You see there are a few people in the narcissistic abuse world that have talked about this. And that is the victim isn't a perfect person with perfect behaviors. I believe if I'm not mistaken. That Sam Vaknin has talked about this a few times. And the reason why a great many of these people that are doing less than stellar things in public that aren't narcissists themselves. And they grew up in a home with a narcissist parent or parents that put them through hell. Is quite simply they never ever worked on themselves. You see if you grew up in a home with a narcissist parent or parents. Even if you have love and empathy in your heart. If you don't know no better something from those narcissists will likely rub off on you. It might be having their same OCD habits. It might be saying awkward things in front of others and then later feeling ashamed and embarrassed of what you said. But then later on you do it again. Because it's all you know. You see. Some people cope with their situation through comedy. And that can be great. But even then it can cross the line. Maybe you might have said something you thought was funny at the time. But then later you said to yourself. Why the heck did you say that? No maybe Stallone isn't sorry at all and he's a full-blown narcissist. But if this man he verbally abusing himself. 
and that verbal abuse he subjected himself to was enough to tell his story through Rocky of his pain and loneliness and it became a hit worldwide. And if he never self-reflected. And that's all he's been surrounded by. The same treatment he gave and gives to himself. He will likely do to others. This is why I say to those that made it out of the house with a narcissist. Do not blame yourself for the abuse you suffered. Especially if it came at the hands of your parents. You were a child and had no choice in these people that were so called raising you. But please know your narcissist parents want you to pick up these traits. Because they want you to be so messed up that normal people won't want you. And you will always keep running back to them. But if you take a deeper look at all of the things that your narcissist parent or parents do or have done. And you can peel back the layers of the abuse onion. And you can figure out what it all means. You can then say. My God I'm doing the same thing. A great example of this is cheating. Maybe you were with a terrible narcissist that was cheating on you. And the cheating just went on and on and on. But instead of working on a game plan to leave. You stooped to their level and cheated on them back. Now are you a narcissist? No. But the narcissistic abuse has rubbed off on you to where you have now started to take on their traits. The difference between you and them though. If you can pull yourself back in and say. My God what am I doing? And no matter Stallone be a narcissist or just a guy that is for the most part nice to those that meet him from what I've heard. When things don't go his way. Because he's serious about his movie making. His default behavior is to start to act like his mother. Again. Prince made a song about his narcissistic abuse. When doves cry. Maybe I'm just too demanding. Maybe I'm just like my father too bold. Maybe I'm just like my mother. She's never satisfied. You see the great fear of a true narcissistic abuse survivor that doesn't take on becoming a full-blown narcissist themselves. Is becoming a narcissist like their parent or parents. And the reason why this is. Is because they truly do not like what their narcissist parent or parents have done to them. But the other reason is. They can see and hear some of the same words coming out of their mouth as their narcissist mother or father and it scares them. Again. This is just a learning tool. Stallone's real world situations is what's giving us these lessons if they are true. I did a video a few days back regarding his mother. Go back and listen to her talk. And imagine dealing with her when the cameras weren't rolling. He was likely put down every second of his life. And I heard his father was worse. If Stallone is a narcissist. One can understand how and why. But if he's not. It's not a shock some of his parents' traits rubbed off on him. Because if that wasn't possible. We wouldn't have to do the self-work. Self-work isn't just about making healthy boundaries for ourselves. Though that is very important. But a good portion of the self-work. Is to untrain all that was trained into us on how to live our lives from our narcissist parents. For each of us it might be different. But if you have heard me talk about picking up ticks from the narcissist parent or parents. Stallone's situation is a great example of that. Allegedly. Allegedly. Well that's all I have for today. If you haven't subscribed. Please do so. Also please share if you can. I really appreciate your support. With that said. I do hope your day is blessed. And until next time. Bye for now. And be good to yourself.